An echocardiogram is used to evaluate heart wall thickness and motion, as well as the structure and function of the heart valve. Blood flows from the veins into the right upper chamber, right atrium of the heart, through the tricuspid valve into the right lower chamber, right ventricle of the heart. The right ventricle contracts to pump blood through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery and subsequently to the lungs. Oxygen-rich blood flows from the lungs through the left upper chamber, left atrium, and the mitral valve of the heart into the left lower chamber, left ventricle of the heart. The left ventricular muscle contracts to pump blood out through the aortic valve into the aorta, a large blood vessel carrying blood out of the heart to the rest of the body. An echocardiogram uses ultra-high pitch sound waves to produce an image of the various structures of the heart. Bring a list of all your present medications. No caffeine, no tea, coffee, or chocolate, four hours prior to the test. Do not apply any body lotion or oil to your skin before the appointment, as this makes it difficult to obtain high-quality images. Prior to the test, you will be asked to sign a consent form. The technologist will explain the entire procedure to you before it begins, and will answer any questions you may have. To begin the procedure, you'll remove your clothing from the waist up and put on a gown. Electrode pads will be placed on your chest and shoulders to monitor your heartbeat. You will have to lie down on an examination table on your left side. In order to obtain clearer pictures, a colorless water-based gel will be applied to your chest. The gel may feel cool but will not harm your skin and will be removed at the end of the test. The technologist will hold a transducer firmly on your chest to obtain different views of the heart. Sound waves are sent through the transducer and are reflected off the various structures of the heart to produce an image on the video monitor. You may or may not hear a whoosh sound while the pictures are being taken. Sometimes, in order to obtain better quality images, the transducer might be held very firmly by the technologist against your chest, and the pressure can be uncomfortable, especially over your ribs. You may be asked to change your position or hold your breath at times during the exam in order to take pictures of different areas of the heart. When the test is complete, a written report will be sent to your referring physician who will explain your test results to you.